Okay, so let's crack on with session five. Session five is fairly straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to look at grouping objects together. So whereas what we've done so far is perhaps have objects that we can move independently of each other, what we're going to look at is actually putting stuff together so we can actually just click on one object and move perhaps three or four at a time. Okay, so by the end of this session you'll be able to group several objects together and then ungroup them. Okay, so let's have a go. Okay, so here I am, I'm on the command panel on this side of the screen and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple of shapes into this empty scene that I've got now. So the first one I'm going to put in will just be the box. So I'm just going to click on box and then drag my way over to the top view and then in here just click and drag, draw a box and then let go of the mouse button, push upwards to make it three dimensional just so you can see it a bit more clearly. There it is down there. Okay, so that's what I've created. I've put one object in there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here again and I'm going to choose sphere. Choose sphere. Come back to the same place as before, the top window. And this time I'm going to click and drag and draw a sphere. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these independently. So if I come up to the top here and choose my move tool that we've used before, I can click on that and I can move any of these objects anywhere I want. So if I click on the square, I can move that, I can move it sideways, move the box, I can click on my sphere and I can move that anywhere I want. Yeah. Okay, so I've got all this freedom and they both move independently, but let's say I wanted them both to move together. Now what I could do is I could come up and I could use my selection tool here, come over to the top, just draw a box around the whole lot. And that will select everything, so if I come back to move now, see they both move together, but the, if I click away, you can see they're now they're still independent objects. Okay? Okay, so I just happen to be moving two objects at the same time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them together as a group. And what this means is that they actually lock together. And all I do is I come up to the top here, I come up to my selection tool, I select them both, and then I come up to the top here where it says group click on group, down one to group and I can give it a name. In this case I'm just going to leave it as group one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click OK and that is now a group. Okay, So if I come to move these now, I go onto the move tool, they move together and you see I can click click on them, if, if I, whichever one I click on, the other one goes with it, they're actually joined together as objects. Now if at some future point I decided that I didn't want them joined together, I can draw a box around them again just, just to select them, or I can use the selection tool, however I want to select them, and go to group, ungroup, and I should now, if I come back up here to my move tool, click on that, come back down here and I can move them independently. Okay, so hopefully that was fairly straightforward. Just try putting a few objects into a scene, try grouping them, ungrouping them, and just get used to this idea that you can join objects and move them together. It's really useful if you've got a complex shape that you've made, that you've built objects up. You can just group them together, then move them as one. Okay, so have a go at that, have a play, and then have a go at the online quiz and I'll see you for session six which gets a little bit more complex as we start making these joined objects react to each other and things called boolean intersections. So I'll see you there. Mm.